Well, Danny O'Brien knows what it takes to win a Blue Diamond. He did so two years ago with Star Witness, and he's got two horses headed towards Saturday's million-dollar feature at Caulfield in Cambiasso and Bush Aviator. We caught up with him this morning to ask about their chances. We also asked about the three-year-old Adamantium, who's in the Group 1 Futurity Stakes on Saturday, taking on the older horses en route to the Guineas. That's what he had to say. Well, two runners in the Diamond, a great achievement. Uh, I'm not sure having runners is any achievement. <laughs> I like having winners. Uh, but no, look, they're both colts that have uh, earned their spot and they're in good order. Well, it takes a lot to, to get them there, I guess, and you've got to have everything right, so it, it must have for these two horses. Yeah, look, the, the Cambiasso was uh, very good early in the spring and uh, earned his spot then and uh, was very unlucky the other day in the prelude. Uh, he didn't really get his chance to hit the line the way um, we would have liked and uh, yeah, I'm sure at the end of 1,200 tomorrow he'll be really hitting the line strong. Slip the blinkers on. Yeah, look, obviously there's no prisoners in, in the Group 1s. Um, you know, you want to give every chance. And he's a horse that I've always had the blinkers up my sleeve with him. Um, I don't think he'll overdo it in the run or anything, but it just might help him to really stretch out late. Has it been frustrating with him this campaign? Oh, look, it was frustrating in the prelude the other day. He, he just drew in and he was boxed in and, and was never able to find any galloping room. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, I'm sure there'll be gaps there tomorrow. Uh, the, the field will spread right out there late in, in that sort of pressure race. And if he's good enough, he'll have no excuses. Tell us about the other horse, Bush Aviator. Yeah, he, he, look, he, he was doing everything we could have asked for in the spring too. Um, we accepted with him in the debutant, but he drew 16 of 16 and I opted not to run him. Uh, I thought that was just a bit of an essay for a horse having its first start. Um, he's come back in the autumn really well. We went for a reasonably soft option with him down in Tasmania and uh, he won that pretty comfortably and he's come home in great form and uh, I think he's improving still on, on what he'll do on Saturday. Raced reasonably handy to the speed on that occasion. Well, what type of horse is he then? Is, is that the horse you think he'll, he'll sort of push forward from a, a reasonable draw? I would say he will, yeah. He didn't, doesn't have much problem taking a position. Like He's, he's led and won nearly every trial he's ever had and uh, yeah, he, he pushed forward in Tassie and, and controlled that race pretty easily so from a reasonably good draw I'd imagine he'd be running in the first half a dozen You know the stock standard question when you have two runners, which way do you lean? <laughs> <laughs> look, uh, look they're, they're both um, one's going to be back, one's going to be forward uh, probably if I had to bet my life I'd probably go for Bush Aviator, like he's um, he's a pretty smart colt and he's only been to the races once and I'm sure whatever you see saw from him last time there's plenty of improvement on him it's a special day for you, this one, um, Star Witness, a couple of years back. Yeah, look, it was really exciting a couple of years ago. You know, it was, it was uh, obviously a big race to win, but more the way that that colt won it. You know, he, was, uh, he was sort of unbalanced around the corner and, and we'd sort of given up on him and then he, he flew late. It was a very exciting race. A bit like Bushy Aviator in that he came in with you know, wins on the board but wasn't going in as favourite. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a difficult one, I think, price-wise to assess them. Um, it's such a big jump for two-year-olds the first time they go to 1,200 metres and, and certainly the pressure is, is extreme in the diamond and uh, it's, you know, I don't know what the records are of favourites but I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of times where uh, the market gets it wrong. Yeah, well, there's lots been beaten, there's no doubt about that. Um, what about your, uh, your three-year-old? You step him up into the open company. Yes, well, he's heading to the Guineas but he's a particularly uh, big, gross sort of colt and I wasn't comfortable leaving him three weeks from his last start into the Guineas. Uh, now, there was really only one option for him to run on Saturday and that was in the wait for age race. Um, obviously, he, he hasn't got anywhere near the performance of horses like King Mufasa and Pinka Pinka but, uh, you know, three-year-olds at this time of the year can run well and wait for age and, as I said, it's the best way to get him cherry ripe for next Saturday here at Flemington. Did it help that Black Caviar didn't accept? Look, he was going to run whatever, you know, as it was part of his program for the Australian Guineas to have another start. Uh, but, yeah, like, you know, at least you've got some hope now. <laughs> Could you pinch it along the way then? Obviously the Guineas is the grand final, but he gets a little weight relief there. Uh, or what's going to be the pass mark for you? Oh, look, if he could be top four or five, that's going to really put him in the mix next Saturday for the Guineas. Um, yeah, we'd be very happy. If he won, he'd be favourite for the Guineas. But plenty of others in on Saturday. Who else are you looking forward to? Uh, really looking forward to seeing Now You Know. Um, yeah, he's a cult that I've always had a lot of time for, uh, and he's going to get better as he steps up in distance. He gets up to the 1800 on Saturday, which will really suit. Um, yeah, he's heading towards the hopefully the derby in Sydney if he does everything right. Um, and yeah, tomorrow is another real good test for him. Do you back up Shopaholic? We will. No, my plan was always to run her last Saturday to probably have her at her best for this Saturday. Uh, 
and you know, obviously winning was a bonus, but she's come out of the run really well, and uh, I'm sure she'll improve again this Saturday. Um, yeah, she'll have to. There's another couple of pretty smart fillies waiting there, soft sand and uh, the New Zealand filly, and, and she gets a penalty now. You know, you, it's a bit easier to do it when you're on the limit. Now she's got a 57.5, but she's come through it super and drawn well. She's going to get a good run, and you know, she doesn't know how to run a bad race. Well, she's nothing if not tough. She is. No, she's a really tough little filly, and, and as I said, the run last Saturday, if anything, it's brought her on more.